Okay, let's pick up where we left off last uh, night. Uh, here are our constants that we put in, K1 through K4, uh, C1 through C4, which were all zeros, and M1 through M4. And actually, they're all the same, which is something I should not have probably done. So let's take a look at <coughs> our system now. Now our system right here, our subsystem, they are all almost exactly the same. The structure of them is the same on each one of these subsystems. They all look alike. Uh, no matter what we, which one we click on, they all have the same basic subsystem structure. Okay as one another. So any one can be fit into the other. The only real differences are our summing blocks on the two middle spring masses for the building, okay? And um, the fact that the feedback loops, in other words, this system is getting feedback from the first, uh, the lower floor and the upper floor. And, th and this one's getting from this floor and the lower floor, but then this floor here is only getting feedback from the floor uh, right below it. So this is the top floor, this is the bottom floor. Okay, and when I run this, uh, you can see here uh, that I get the same results that are in the book. So if you look at any one, I think I've corrected most of the typos that I had on these blocks. So it'll be easy for you to see. So let me just zoom in here so that this, whoops. Okay, let's start with the top. So you can see this real well. Okay, give me a good look at that. Uh, pretty good look at that. You see the what the blocks look like. If you find a mistake, just please send me an email and let me know what that mistake was. Uh, let me actually label the subsystem mass. So that's the fourth floor, the third floor, the second floor, and the first floor with my feedback loops on the outside now, okay, coming back in. And, of course, you can see the scope over here. I've got the first floor, second floor, third floor, and fourth floor, okay. And that is a great jumping off point for building a control system for this. Um, so I think that will make, and you, you see I use a step, but I set them all to zero. I'll replace those when I do my final system with um, just a constant, which is zero, which is my desired output. So I hope this helps you in putting this together.